Hello. Hey everyone. Okay, so um, bonus video. Since my other video went live way before it should have, I don't know how that happened, but this is the bonus video. I was going to film this for a new one, but you're getting it now. So this is really just a collection of stuff that I really like and I'm trying. So I thought I'd share it with you. So let's make a start. Let me show you these three things because they're so beautiful. So this is called Rose Gold and it is from Jouet and it is their uh, highlighter and it is so pretty. And it is just, Jouet make really beautiful um, highlighters. So it's just got that kind of, you can't see that, you know? It's a hard life. This is gorgeous. So this is what I call a keeper, as in it goes over here. This is the Rose Gold Blush Duo. And it's just such, I know it doesn't look, that's more of its realistic color because it's not it's getting too close to the bloody um, camera. But it's absolutely just exquisite. It is so pretty. And then of course the eyeshadow palette, which is bloody stunning, look at that. I mean, that's some really beautiful colors, really beautiful. Just want to point out that um, I do wear other things other than t-shirts and hoodies, you know? I, I can look smart sometimes. It's just I'm inherently disgusting. So these I haven't tried yet, but they're all about to, well, not all at the same time, but over the course of, you know, the next several weeks or months, so this is uh, number 11 by Raphael Roberto, and I'll talk to you the story about this in a second, because it's quite lovely. So this is the, um, this is an anti-aging organic company with clinicals that actually are decent. So that's quite rare to see clinicals that actually are decent. And also I've got the number nine and the number 10, which is the face and eye serum, and the neck as well. So here they are. These, Oh, look at this. If Clarisonics irritate your skin and you're looking for like a cleansing brush, this is like a double ending cleansing brush, but it's not, um, you know, it doesn't vibrate. You've got this kind of really soft brush here and then the silicone for more intense exfoliation. Um, I actually found this brand on Instagram because I was just looking around um, at different things and suddenly this really handsome face popped up. So instantly I was like, follow. And then I did, and it turns out he has this amazing brand. So these products are gonna be tested out by myself, and hopefully at the end of it, I may look like him. That's not possible, but I wouldn't mind if a little bit of it just rubbed off. That would be delicious. This is so pretty. Um, Elixir Coupe d'Euclid. I don't even know if that is right, but it is from Becca, and it's their new Skin Love Glow Elixir. I read the wrong sign. Anyway. It is a really good product, and it is like an illuminating elixir, and you just kind of add a drop or two to your skincare, to your makeup, to your face, to your primer, and it has microfine shimmer in it, so you basically radiate like a little girl. It is very, very beautiful, and outrageously fragranced. Bear that in mind. I don't use it on me because it's not for me, it's for others, but it's bloody good. This is my third. This is the organic, and this is not organic. This is Drunk Elephant and it is number nine jelly cleanser. Bestie, bestie, it's so good. They're Peaky bars are amazing, but this is just lovely. I love a nice cleanser. I really, really love a nice cleanser. Do you know a foundation that I really like and I, I don't ever speak about it because it's one of those things that's up there and then I don't speak about it because it's there all the time. So I'm like, I don't even know what that is, but it's a really good, it's a really good one. I love it. It's the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I much prefer this to the other NARS one. Um, I think the other NARS one's really, really pigmented. This is what I call the perfect amount of pigment. It's so nice. The shade range is beautiful. And they're not all bright yellow, which I love. There's some more neutral and cooler tones in there. I just think it's a great foundation. You don't need huge amounts of it either, which can just be pissy, irritating. Oh, I've seen something that I'm gonna show you. So the next thing, this is something else I'm gonna be testing out, but I have to like pick and choose because you can't stick it all on because then you don't know what's working and what isn't. So this is by a company that is so nice and they're called Medicate. Medicate with an eight. There it is. So this is 
really bright, so it's not showing up. But it is the Crystal Retinol 6. I believe this goes up to a 10. Really, really advanced retinol products. So I got two, because, you know, you can't do it for two weeks and go, I didn't see any improvement. You can't do it for a while. And I also got the Advanced Total Protect, which is the SPF 30, and so I got two of them as well. Um, I have that on right now, and it's so nice. It, there was not a single bit of oiliness from this um, sunscreen. And because my skin is a bit problematic, I've got blemish control pads as well. So there's 60 in here. So that's 60 days if you use it, obviously, once a day. And because their company is really big on C in the morning and A in the night, which is um, vitamin C in the morning and um, vitamin A, retinol at night, nothing naughty. Um, there's two of these, which is called the C Terra Intense, and it is a lipid vitamin C serum, and it's supposed to be absolutely mammoth. So I got two of them. Um, so I'm, do you know I'm going to buy their cleanser as well? Did I mention I love a cleanser? I love a cleanser. Do you know I shave in cleanser oftentimes as well? I know, I'm crazy like that. These are really nice. So Yves Saint Laurent, that's some pricey, pricey stuff, I'll tell you that. Um, their mascara, look at the wand. It's really nice and it just is don't wiggle. It's so nice and I really, really, and I didn't think I'd like it, but I ended up really liking it, which is basically their lash primer as well. And that's just, it's really nice. It really does work. So that's bloody great. Look at this. Do you know, ages ago I said that Hourglass don't make shite. They don't, they just make lovely products. These are the Scattered Light. So that's called Scattered Light. and. It just think glitter without the really thick chunks, right? So, I mean, imagine that over a brown smoky eye, right? Foil, that is gorgeous. Do you know what I'm gonna show you now? Um, this is called Aura, which is more of a pink. So imagine that over um, torp, over gum metal, something like that, eyeshadow. This one is called Smoke, so you can just pretty much any brown eyeshadow like ever. Um, there's more. There's bloody more. There is bloody more. Where are they? Bloody more. Stop that. Here they are. So there is Reflect. Did I talk about Reflect? There, yeah, there it is. I got all these in doubles. I know, right? This is so beautiful. Blaze, one of my favorites is Blaze, right? Watch this. They are ultra creamy and, right? That over anything burgundy, right? Or, or warm brown. Makes me want to touch yourself. That is just beautiful, beautiful. Okay, look at these. So, you know. Expensive stuff, I know, right? But I didn't think I'd like this, but it actually turned out to be really nice. So this is the Nude Expert Duo Stick, and it is by Terry, literally by Terry. And it is an illuminator and a foundation all at the same time. So you basically just sort of scribble it on your hand, and you're getting both illuminator and foundation. And then you blend it with a sponge, a brush, or allegedly the end of this. I don't think that's that great idea. But when you blend it, you get a really illuminating um, foundation that is really, really pretty. So I was really surprised by that, but it's absolutely wonderful. And let me show you this one as well, because this is so pretty. This is for your cheeks and it's called Sun Desire number no. seven. And it is a blusher and it is so pretty. They do make the prettiest stuff. I totally understand you need to remortgage your home for it, but it is really, really pretty stuff. There you go. That's my lot, I think. That is my lot. Have I missed anything out here? Oh, I did miss one thing out. I'm gonna try this tonight because I haven't tried it yet. It's um, the Peel Mask, and that's by the gorgeous, again, the Raphael um, Roberto. And I've got my little spatula here. So I'm gonna be popping that all over my little face and my, probably my red, red ear and see where I go from that. Oh, 
I'll tell you something else that's really good. You may not have heard of them, but they're by this really good brand called Wayne Goss. I don't know if you've ever heard of him, but I've heard lots of really nice things and apparently he's quite a looker. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I've heard he is delicious, delicious. Now, these two brushes, this is from the set, but you can buy these individually. So we've got here the first brush, which is brush number five. So let me show you so you can see the point. So it's quite small, right? And then you've got brush number six. Again, these are from the set, but you get the gist. So you can do all your eye makeup with just this. So this is what you use all over your little eyelids, all over eyeshadow brush, right? Then you go into this brush here, and what you do is you look straight forward into the mirror with your eyes normal, and you take your medium shade and you go right here on that outer portion of the crease, right there. You then just take that, you blend it into the crease, you then take your darker shade or whatever shade you want and apply it to that outside corner here, and then all across the eyelid, give it a blend. You then use the same brush, you connect the outside corner to that top bit, and then you put a little bit of your all over eyeshadow shade and you just lightly buff it up and out. Your eyes are done. That's how I apply eyeshadow to people. And these two brushes are the way to do it. Do you know, I need to really check out those brushes because God, everybody says he's just so hot. And I'm like, I doubt that, but I'm gonna have to check it out. Apparently he's a snazzy dresser as well. Always always wearing really smart clothes and, and not like the same ones for days in a row, like sleeping in them. No, apparently nothing like that. Sounds like a keeper. See you next time. Bye-bye.